Hey, welcome back to MIA TV. Today we're going to have a look at something that every time I tell someone what they are, they laugh at me and go, you got to be joking. Who on earth would buy these? And then when they see them out on the bank, they go, oh yeah, I get it. They're brilliant. Where can I buy one? These are bivy mats. Yes, I know straight away you're thinking, what the hell? But they're designed primarily for going into your bivy to keep everything clean. Let's face it, if you're a session angler where you need to have a little bit of cleanliness in your bivy, especially in the front porch or in the doorway, then these are a godsend. Now this happens to be a Fox one. These are the ones I use. They are large and fully uh, waterproof. They have a great mesh uh, sort of nylon piece at the back. Uh, and as I said, they have this sort of very soft neoprene piece here. These, these are great for laying, as I say, in the door of your bivy to keep your bivy clean or your umbrella system. But also, if you're using these, you can use these to go underneath your reels on your pod as a splash mat. Now, that's something I also do. Now, people again go, really, do you need a splash mat? But the thing is, if you're using your rods and reels low to the ground and it's raining, bits of mud and dirt splash back up and get caught into the reels. After a bit of time, reels start to wear down and they can cause issues on drags and things like that. So um, uh, if you're fishing a sand pit where there's a lot of fine sand particles, uh, again, it, without a splash mat, you're going to find that your reels will not last an awful long time. The gears will get worn out in no time with the sand getting and grit getting into them. So splash mats are, are quite a handy thing to have. Uh, the Fox one is probably the best made out of all of them. It has four pegging points with these little sort of uh, metal O-rings. And as I said, I've, I've been using these. I own about three of these and I, found, I find them invaluable. And again, when people initially look at them or hear about them, they think, oh my God, that's excessive. But when you actually see them in action and you, or you use them, you realize how functional they really are. Now, this particular mat, as I said, is by Fox and it's retailing at 21 euro 16. So it's, you know, not an outrageously expensive mat, but uh, it's, it's really, really well made. And as I said, it's the my preferred choice. But if your budget doesn't run that far, Kudos, who again make nice gear, but they make it for more of the budget end of things. They also have these mats. Now they are similar in the way they are, you know, they've kind of copied a little bit the design of this one, the Fox one. They have the ringed uh, eyelets here for pegging down. They're, you know, pretty much the same size. They have um, this kind of soft piece here. It's not neoprene. I think there could be neoprene underneath it, mind you. Uh, but it's like a, a nylon kind of meshing that goes across the top here. Again, it doesn't have the quality or the feel of the Fox one. But these are only retailing at $13.99. So again, if you need a splash mat or you want to just have something in your porch where you, when you step into your bivy, you can have your Crocs on one side, your boots on the other. Uh, it means that you're not going to get too much muck coming in and you can keep things nice and clean. Because if you're session fishing, the worst thing that can happen is you let your bivy get dirty uh, because it just becomes unlivable then. Um, so that's a couple of items that are so left to field that most people wouldn't even think about, or when they do think about them, they think they're absolutely ridiculous, but they're not. They're very functional, and for the money, they're very practical as well. So that's the Kudos uh, Rod and Bivy mat, and also the Fox Bivy and Rod mat. Uh, take your pick, but definitely get yourself one. Well worth the investment.